Have you been asked to calculate the average accounting rate of return and you don't have any idea how to do that? Well, that won't be a problem if you watch this video to the end. I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to show you how to easily calculate the average accounting rate of return. Let's say you have a project that cost $250,000. So that is the amount of money that has to be expended on the equipment, for example. And that equipment is going to be depreciated in this example in a straight line method with zero salvage value over four years. So we've got the amount and we know that the net income from the project over the four years is going to be $30,500, the second year $20,100, $25,200, and then the last year $15,800. Now, the question may ask you to calculate the net income based upon sales and costs, but we're going to presume in this case that we have done that calculation and we know how much the net income is, or in some problems, they give it to you. If it's asking us what is the average accounting rate of return, we're going to use the formula. Let me pull this up so you can see it. The average accounting rate of return is the average net income over the average book value of the equipment. That's the equation we're going to use. It's pretty simple. Let me show you how to calculate that. If you do find this helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos such as this. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to find the average of our net income. In other words, we're going to do the numerator. So we've got four years of net income. To find the average, we need to add it up. So we'll start with 30,500, and we're gonna to add to that 20,100, and we're gonna to add to that 25,200, and finally 15,800. And total that, and that is $91,600. To find the average, we get to divide that by four because there's four years. So I divide by four. The number's already in the calculator, so I just divide by four. And that gives me $22,900. So $22,900 is our average net income, which is the numerator for our formula. So I can start out by putting $22,900 for the numerator. Now we've got to find the denominator. Well, the average book value is going to be the average of all four years of the book value when it is being depreciated over four years using the straight line method with zero salvage value. The key points here are going to be the four years and that it's a zero salvage value. Actually, we don't even have to worry about the four years. To find the average book value, we have the starting book value. The starting book value is going to be the price we paid for the equipment, $250,000. We add to it the ending book value, which because of its zero salvage value is going to be zero. And we divide it by two because we're finding the average. So essentially we have $250,000 divided by two, and that is $125,000. That $125,000 is our denominator because that's the average book value. So we just need to divide the two. So 22,900 divided by $125,000 is equal to 0 0.1832 and there's zeros after that so we don't have to worry about that and of course usually we're going to state this as a percentage this is in decimal form so we're going to multiply by 100 or move the decimal place over two places if you've forgotten how to change decimals to percents or percents to decimals I've got a video up here just click on that link and that'll give you a refresher and we're multiplying it by 100, so our average accounting rate of return is 18.32%. Now you know how to easily calculate average accounting rate of return, but that's not all there is to know. 
Please subscribe to my channel to get the rest of the story. Keep your grade alive and subscribe. Thank you.